how to operate the Dometic rollout canopy. If I firstly take the canopy winding handle and just pop it in at this point just here and then begin to wind the canopy out. As you can now see, I've wound the canopy out a short distance. I always prefer to do this and then drop the legs for support. So then you're not putting too much stress on the side of the motorhome or the canopy itself. The legs are sprung loaded. So start at the end and just push in. And then as you'll see, it will then come out and then you can drop the leg down. We now just want to slide it along to the end until it locks into place just here. And then if I do exactly the same again with the other leg, again, just allow it to drop and then slide it across to the end and let it clip into place. If I now just lift up here, I can then pull out this black lever here, which will then allow the leg to drop to the ground and then get the canopy at the height that you require and then just lock it into place and then this part here will then just drop over it to make sure that it then can't be accidentally released. If I now just do exactly the same again with the other leg, again just drop it to the ground and get the height that you require and then just lock it back into place. Now the canopy is supported and I can continue to wind it out, walking the legs out as I go. The canopy comes out a good distance and you'll see that these support arms go virtually straight once it is fully out. Never use the canopy in high winds as you do run the risk of it being flipped over the top of the motorhome. Also, if you find that the winding handle gets stuck, just push up and then twist and it will then release itself. When it comes to putting the canopy away, reverse the process wind the canopy in about halfway, walking the legs, then put the legs away and then continue winding it until the handle will not turn anymore. So now I've wound the canopy back about halfway and if I now lift up and then lift up the lever, I can then pop it back up again, like this. And then if we do exactly the same again with the other leg, again just undo and then push back up and you'll see that this part here just slots over here to lock it into place and then we just want to push down on here and then slide it back to the center and then do exactly the same on the other leg and then rotate up
and then push in and then make sure that this bit drops in here like so and then the same with the other leg and then continue to wind it back in. <laughs> 